This episode of Game of Names is going to be big stuff and well-known names. So let's just start with the biggest guy. His name is Robert Pershing Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant. Born February 22nd, 1918. Now, Robert, the reoccurring ongoing Base Express Reference Plus, that's his actor name, our first name is always our actor name, his middle name Place expressed reference, subject here, identified notion generated. So he's per subject here, identified notion generated. And plural, active to and from the as it lie, ongoing plural. See how he's literally a plural active coming through dia, as it lie, ongoing plural. And he was born February 2, the base, 22. Vital, 1918, reference. He's a base, vital, reference. And being Wadlow is a plural, active, dia, as it lie, ongoing, plural. So if it's as it lie, ongoing, he's not low, he's plural, added to low. So he's bigger than everybody else. That's his name. Check it out. Now these next two guys are born on the same day but have two way different callings in the world, both born on 420. First one is the Iceman. Now, he's not big, but he's known for doing big things, like staying in the cold, uh, his breathing routines. But if you understand, he's the plural identified manifestation, here, ongoing, force, or familiar. And you, if you would think if you are wind huffing, wind huff, but whim hoff, because he's the identified manifestation of the here ongoing force. And he's literally somebody who uses mind over matter. And he has been well known for quite a while for a breathing technique, whim hoff, wind huffing, whim hoff. And he was born on 420, dia plus, dia d and 20 plus, or you could say 20 as in based on going. And what is that? Breath. See what I'm saying? Wim Hof, 420. And the other person born on 420, people may not want to hear this, but Adolf Hitler, the AD, the ad, ongoing, as it lie, form, force, or familiar, and then Hitler, here identified plus, the as it lie, or the active base, expressed reference. So he wants to do, he wants to tell people what to do. Hitler, the here identified plus, as it lie, expressing reference to people, because R is the human number and letter. And then if you think of Adolf, means to take away from AD, the ad, ongoing, as it lie, form. So he's going to take away from the ling, form. And what did he do? 420 is that dia plus. So with his name being Adolf Hitler on 420, he did what he was supposed to do in a world that's as corrupt as it is. And I know people don't want to hear that, but everybody is in their place. And all we have to do is see it and then remove people from their positions of power when we understand that they're doing the wrong thing because nobody has the right to have power over you. And if, if they are, then why can't I just say, I own your life and you do what I say? But I would never do that. But for some reason, people are too chicken to stand up for themselves while they let other people do that to them, their family, their children, their neighbors, their community. And it's disgusting, isn't it? It's about time we grow up and act like the adults we claim to be so that our children can grow up to be respectful, knowledgeable, and civil, peaceful adults who know how to take care of themselves in every way. Now, if you're familiar at all with the world of psychonautics and people like Terrence McKenna, then you'll understand he's a big name in that field. He's a big name in that aspect. Now, understand that everybody is doing exactly what they're supposed to. And this should show you when you pick somebody who's known for mushrooms and the psychedelic movement. And his name is Terrence McKenna. Middle name, Kemp. Okay, so it's the territory, the T-E-R, the plus expressed reference, expressing notion, unseen concept expressed. 
the kinetic expressed manifested in place, a mushroom, and McKenna, the manifested unseen concept, kinetic, expressing that notion upon itself, active. So when you put it in your in yourself, you the from the territory, the kinetic expressed manifested in place, and the manifested unseen concept now kinetic, ena, as in energy, but expressed notion upon itself, active. November sixteenth. Kinetic or actively active in place or active form. 16. See how he's exactly that. Now, if he's not, then you're more blind than I could imagine. And you are all my best friends. I have no one who sticks out more than the other. So that's why I say this to everyone, everywhere I go. Because as odd and as different as it may seem to people... This is what is true, and we all have all this information going in our heads that really means nothing, but we hold on to it because it's what we think we know, and unfortunately, it's what we've been trained to think, and whether we want to admit it or not, when we finally do, we can start moving forward, and until we do, we're just in stalemate, or else we're going to go down with the ship, because this ship has sunk a long time ago, it's just barely staying afloat, and I'm here to throw you that life preserver so that we can get back to some dry land and make this a better place for ourselves and our loved ones. And you know, while we're on Terrence McKenna, we just look at his brother, the Dennis McKenna. Now, Dennis is the den, but you would say the dia expressed notion upon itself or nature upon itself, identified subject, And then you would say McKenna, the manifested unseen concept, kinetic expressing that notion upon itself, active. So see how Terrence and Dennis McKenna are both mushroom advocates? It doesn't just happen by chance. It happens because it's meant to. We just live out so much time that we just can't put this all together. And then when we die, we see what it was all about. And since I really have died and really do know what goes on on the other side, like the back of my hand, more than I know what's going on in the world now because it's just ridiculous and people are purposely doing the wrong things. But I do know how to figure it out. I just don't waste my time for things that aren't going to help because we need people who put priorities first. And I mean real priorities. This next one may not be a common name, but he's known for what he's done and most people would just consider it an inkblot test. But an inkblot test is called a Rorschach. And the person who invented it, his name is Herman Rorschach. Remember, the hermetic principles has to do with the mind. Now, if you say, here expressed reference, now it's a person that he's talking about. So it's, a, it's an active here or a human being, R. So it's the here expressed reference, manifest, active, notion upon itself. Born November 8th, 1884. So it's the kinetic or the actively active, eight here, and then 18 reference, eight here, four dia to and from. So you hold something up to it and they tell you what they think about it because you're the here expressed reference manifest active notion upon itself. And then Rorschach, human or reference, ongoing, human or reference, subjecting a concept or a constant to itself here and then activating a concept or an unseen concept here. So you hold it up as a subjected concept that's constant to itself, the picture here, and it activates the concept or the unseen concept, which is constant to someone else's self here. And they tell you what they think about a picture they see. It's the reoccurring ongoing reoccurring or the reference ongoing reference subjected constant to itself here activating a constant to itself here from zurich from one side to another unit human or reference identified unseen concept here herman rorschach the guy who invented the rorschach or the ink blot test this couldn't be more perfect and if you can't see it by now i don't know how else i can say that i have understand the mind of nature, the mind of God. I understand what every person and everything is doing here and I'm responsible to teach it to you. 
And whether you want to hear it or not, I'm sorry because I mean, when I say sorry, I'm actually just saying that because I don't want to offend you, but it is offensive with what the world has been turned into and what we allow it to be. To me, that's what is offensive. And for someone who doesn't want to face it and then having me point it out, that makes them offended towards me. But honestly, you're really offending yourself by not learning and understanding because the answers are here for you and they're waiting because I love you with my heart and my arms wide open. All right, now we're going to move on to Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. Now, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Like I said, if I say it a little wrong, I'm sorry. I speak English. And his birthday is October 2nd, 1869 from Port Bandar, India. Port Bandar? Let's say. Potential ongoing reference, base active notion, dia active reference. And the reference is him. So he's the potential ongoing reference, base active notion, dia active reference. From him, that's where he came from. On October 2nd, the J, the intense, the junction of, and then B, which is two, so the junction of base, and then 1869, the reference of force or form identified. Okay. And then Mohandas, manifest ongoing here, active notion, dia, active subject, so from him, Karamchand, let's say kinetic active reference, activating manifestation, Unseen concept, here active, notion, dia. And cha is the concept here active, as in active energy. And then Gandhi has Dan, his first, last, and middle name all have Dan scrambled in them once again. And he's from India. Poor Bandar has Dan in it again. All of them do. Everywhere he's from has Dan right in it. If you don't see it, I'm sorry, and I have to point it out to you because I'm being completely honest. Now, Gandhi, degenerated or severed and even, active notion, dia, here, identity. Oh, just makes a lot of sense why he specifically was known for being somebody who was enlightened and showed resistance to political people. And why? Because the truth has No place being ruled by anybody because what they're doing is telling you a false truth and then causing you to believe it so that you defend lies. And you're taking lives and you're allowing people to have lives taken over lies. We can't allow this. This is our fault now because the information is there. The truth is out in the open and it's right here for you. So now... If you don't do anything about it, it's your lazy ass fault. And I'm only saying that because some people need a big old boot in the ass in order to get themselves moving. We've got to do something. Now, we can't sit and complain and whine about have-nots. But what we've got to do is use what we have. And that can be knowledge and wisdom. And we can apply that with courage and truth. All right, these are going to be the last four people here. We have George and Charles Merriam, Noah Webster, and the infamous William or Bill Gates. Now, notice all these names are power names. We've got George and Charles and Noah and William. George, like King George, Prince Charles, King Charles, Noah, William, Now, these are all names that have power, whether you know it or not. And what those names do in their actor form have a lot to do with what the last name is. Now, the first three have a combined thing called the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. What's funny is there's two Merriams and one Webster, but the Webster is plural and Merriam is the active concept, the M13 coming into tense. So literally their names are M13 hyphenated with a W23. So it's the active unseen concept, the manifestation, and it's plural, the based concept. So what we base things on, two, any, three. So then it's George is in the generated expressed ongoing reference generated expression, and Charles, the concept here, active reference as it lies expressing subject, 
with Miriam, the manifested air I am, or the manifest expressed reference upon itself, identifying active manifestation. Okay. And then Noah, the notion ongoing active here. Webster, as in the plural expressed base, like if you know what ebb and flow is, it's of waves. But now we have W-E-B, the web. And then stir, subject plus expressed reference. Okay, so we have Merriam-Webster, hyphenate those together. And it's manifested air I am, or the manifested expressed reference upon itself, identifying active manifestation, along with the plural expressed base, subjecting plus expressed reference. Do you see this? Now, since their names are so close, Merriam Webster, now take the I am from that and turn it into what it is now. We have William, the plural ill, I am, pretty damn sick, but we'll just say plural identified between two L's as it lie, identifying active manifestation, Gates generated active plus expressed subject. So he's got the computer where he wants to control people, the generated and grouped, the severed and even, active plus expressed subject, and he wants to control people. He wants to help with the depopulation. Will I am is basically a plural identified two L's I am. I am is the identified active manifestation, and he's going to plural his identified between two L's. His identified center is sick, and a gate. What is a gate? Gates? You know what gates are? They hold you out or keep something in. And he's doing exactly that in every shape and form. Now, that's going to be it for this one. And I do apologize, I guess, for the way I'm speaking. But these people really get under my skin and they really frustrate me. Now, maybe some of them don't. This last one does a lot. And with what I've been threatened and what I've had shown to me from these people that think they're in charge shows me that they're nothing but demons in disguise. And whether or not you like that word, let's just say they're horrible people and should never have the support of anyone. And they should be taken out of their positions. I'm not saying let's kill them. I'm just saying let's remove them from their positions because they do not belong there if we want a world that actually operates and can thrive and flourish and be something better. That's going to be the end of this volume of Game of Names. And I guess it's not really all that much about big people except for the first guy. But some of them are pretty big names. So we're going to call it Big Bill. So we'll see you next time. God bless. I love you all. Peace.